Alright, I'm back for Rethink Evolved, and we left off on Chamber 12, which is what we'll be continuing today. We had these colored cubes. They are not musical notes, thank god. So I see what I have to do already. I'm just going to do a little bit of a sharper angle. Whenever that lines up, I can't even tell how close or far away I am. There we go. So the green one comes on. So now we just go angle the green one. To here and there should be another one that came on the yellow one which that is clearly in this white room I can definitely see what's going on it would be the mix of these two never mind <laughs> there we go pretty simple make it What do we got here? Same thing. A little more complicated. Single, single, and a split. Throw that one over there for the moment. Because what do we have here? I guess that's green. Looks green. Right? No, they just activate by anything. Okay, never mind. If I just did this, we have blue there, do red into here, maybe I have to add the colors together and then split, possibly. There's nothing else back here, was there? No, this just leads to the next room. Yeah. Well, why is there a reflective wall over there? There's a reason why that's there. I was hoping that would activate some sort of green color, but I don't understand why that's here. I don't see anything on this side. So right next to the reflective wall I just talked about, there's one of these information uh, panels, I guess we'll call them. The Test 2. In 2275, the facility had been modernized, redesigned, and enhanced, which led to the replacement of the aforementioned prisms with an earlier version of the cubes that are used today. The biggest difference between the prisms and the cubes was that the cubes worked without being placed in the sockets. Yep. Due to the larger size of the cubes in comparison to the prisms, it was possible to create cubes with additional functions. These functions include, but are not limited to, splitting lasers into their base colors, bidirectional cubes that switch between multiple directions. In addition, the cubes have been equipped with gravitational anchors, which allowed them to float in midair place with an anti-gravity field. This allowed for more complex tests to be designed. Wait, why can I activate the elevator here? What's the point? I'm confused. Wait, what? Is this an extension of that room? It's so hard to tell. I think it is. It doesn't have a number to it. This is going to kill this, though. Right now, it's the, oh, the anti-gravity thing. Oh, and then I bring it up into the room, right? No. What the fuck is this for? <laughs> oh, it's on the ceiling. It's on the ceiling. I see it. You know, once I can hit that. There we go. Okay, so now it should be able to go uh, up there and connect our green stuff. Because I was wondering for a good couple minutes where the hell that was. And I didn't think this elevator worked. Okay, there we go. I got the green to line up with the blue. So now if I just do this, that does not line up like I thought it would. <laughs> if I did it this way, it's too far away. It needs to be closer. Like right here-ish? No, it's still too far away. Oh, that must be it. 
yeah, if I do this, then that's not lined up to here, which I thought it was going to be. Okay. Is there a way I can get all of them to connect up and then do that? No. Some weird angle, possibly. There kind of works. That might be it. If we just rearrange that ever so slightly. It's a very finicky one to deal with. There we go. What is this? Oh, there's that nice grass texture. I'm glad that's back. This is just a, a regular room, nothing special. Example cell. This is a re replica of the cells on which the inmates had to live. It's not bad. <laughs> that is the worst grass texture I've ever seen. Uh oh. Pissed the game off. <laughs> The last game didn't have loading screens like this. What? How do I shut that off? We got reflection, we have the blue. I guess the different color fizzlers don't really matter, it just corresponds to the, the color that's on the ground at the time. Something like that. There's green. Is this what shuts that off? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I just gotta wait. And hopefully it'll just drop down. Here we go. Okay, so we could probably switch this out with this. And make sure it does that. So if we take this around here, what is over here? The way to the next room. Okay. So we got some red over here, which I didn't notice. We have the blue going into there. We have to somehow split these. How's that going to work? Because they're not lined up in the same... Unless I can get this lined up. Get the red lined up as well. Oh. Alright, I thought that was a regular button. It's hard to tell the difference between a button and a faith plate wannabe. Makes it a lot easier for me then. So I just throw that into there. Yeah, we only need red and green. So this is actually useless now, this blue one. Everything is so white, it kind of hurts my eyes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, we got blue elevated now, so we have the force fields. I'm assuming we have to go into there, like so. Let's go let alternate on and off. So that's the faith plate. It's just not activated yet. What's it activated by? I don't know. Let's try to figure out how to do this first. We got green. There we go. Gotta keep the alternating colors working here. So where is the other green one. Oh, there it is. There we go. So that is one. <laughs> one out of four that's on. Doesn't help at all. Although I jumped down here. Oh, I can get back up this way. So I could take this with me for the moment. So that has the blue to it, which is over there. Right? Unless it's just the the corner of the anti-gravity thing. Yeah, it is. I don't know why I thought it was a blue line. But these are blue, so I would need blue coloring, right? 
The only thing I can think of here is... Can I take this back? No. Alright. But, there is a blue laser here. Is there a way to do this without using so many cubes here? It's gotta be. Because if I can just get two, I, I guess. I, yeah, two cubes. Oh no, I need one to angle that way. That's why that's there. So I do need to use this as a assistant for the next one. Okay, so we have this here. Simple. We have this. Not so simple. Although, this one does split, doesn't it? Yeah, so actually get rid of this. Take this. And if I can just get it to line up at a sharper angle. There we go. Now we have an extra one. And then I can do this. There we go. Okay, you know what? I do like that you are incorporating the other rooms into this. That is a nice touch. I will give you that. There, so now we have this lined up. We can go and reconnect all of our stuff down here. Oh, wait. Am I... No, wait. That needs to... Hold on. This needs to reflect off of that as well, doesn't it? No, but there was one. There we go. Because we need that inside there as well, I'm pretty sure. Now we can go and uh, reconnect all of this up. There we go. That actually took me a long time to get uh, into this room. Singles. Okay, so it shouldn't be too difficult, he says. We just do this, and then we take this down to here. There's a fourth one. Oh, shit. What does this do? Why do I need to go up here? Does that make a light bridge? Is that why? Uh, what if I bring this down and then do this? It's also purple there. I didn't see that. Let me bring this over to here. There we go. They're all on. Now we should land on this. Does anybody see what, what that did different there? Or is that my imagination? Does it matter what side you get on this? Is that what messes it up? Oh, it is. That's weird. Uh-oh. Oh, thanks, game. <laughs> okay, so we got these back where we can switch colors again. So, we need... All of those, plus... I wonder if I... Can I do this? Does it make... Purple? No, it stays red. Hmm. Okay, so we can rearrange this a little bit. That's right, I can't really move that. There's a certain level of tediousness to this that's just driving me insane. Because I have to find the exact angle and it's just not working whatsoever. So I'll be back whenever I find it. Please intersect. Oh, so close. Can I rearrange you so you do intersect with that? Okay, well I have that. Is there a sharper angle I can get you to turn on? Maybe I have it now? Wait, turn purple. Little. Did I do it? I did it, there we go, man. That, uh... Took me a while. <laughs> Let's just say I was losing my patience there. Uh, oh man! Just 
these huge rooms where you have to find the one angle that works. It just... Oh, it drives me crazy. But luckily for editing, you don't have to watch most of that. Because I cut it out. So we'll be doing this next time because I've had my fill for this game today. Probably be back in the next couple days with this game. Aiming for Sunday for the next episode. So, and I'll... Uh, done for today and I'll see you next time.